Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. I'm out in the shop working on the Porsche again. You can see I have been working a little bit over here on this strut tower. Got a few things welded up, still got a ways to go. But I've decided now would be a good time to get some engine parts coming for this. Get some things ordered that might take a little while and I can work on this while I'm waiting for parts. This is the supercharged engine that I bought separate for this car. So I wanna tear this down and have a look at it. We're probably gonna do a lot to the top end. We're, I'm planning on leaving the bottom end stock, but I need to get a look at the cylinders, make sure that's feasible. A lot of people don't recommend messing with the bottom end on these, so we aren't going to unless we blow it up. But for now, we're just gonna try to do some, I wanna get the heads off so we can have a peek, and we're gonna take the stuff off the front so that we'll be ready to change the uh, camshaft out, timing chain, oil pump, cover, all that stuff. For tonight, I'm just gonna try to get the cylinder heads pulled and then get a peek down in at the cylinders and make sure we are looking good. So one thing that's gonna make it a little easier is my intake is already off. It's just setting on here, there's no bolts holding it, so I'm just gonna pull it off and um, find a spot somewhere. The person that I bought it from, um, it was a shop, and they were gonna swap it into a buggy, and obviously they let it set with the intake off for a long time, unfortunately. So she's pretty cruddy. We're going to have a lot of cleanup work to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to pop these rocker arms all off and get the push rods out of the way. We're probably going to replace these. I know I have my other set from my Regal that has way lower miles, but we will put these away in order just in case. All we have to do now is take our head bolts loose and then we can pop the heads right off. Okay, the cylinders that I can see in, I'm not seeing any problems. No terrible wear. I think I can just, I think they'll be fine. So we're gonna go ahead next and we are gonna, we're gonna order some stage four heads well, we got the engine apart, we're gonna throw ARP head studs in and we're gonna upgrade to a better gasket. This is going away. Um, it does help a little with vibration at low RPMs, but it hurts you at high RPMs and we're gonna go higher than stock. So we're gonna want this gone. I know there's a, I know there's a trick when you take this out to um, modifying oil passageway otherwise you don't you'll lose your oil pressure when you take this out but we'll go ahead and do that and we're going to get this whole front off i would like to get an electric water pump for this i don't know if i'll be able to do it right away but that is the plan to go with electric but we're going to get all this front stuff tore off 
So I had a big order come in from CZ Performance the other day. We've got a gasket set. This is a cam change gasket set. Um, what else we got? Reusable rocker bolts. I've got, um, I think these are comp cams lifters. Maybe there's EZP. Okay, CZP lifters, whatever. This is the Comp Cams XPZ grind. And this is the most aggressive supercharged cam that you can get from ZZP. They've done a lot of research. They seem to say this is a really good cam. Should wake it up. So with all this extra horsepower we're getting, double roller timing chain no-brainer with that you need to get machined pump cover um crankshaft bolt there came with it probably a cam bolt and while i'm in there new oil pump for sure just got a lot of uh cleaning up to do see i pulled my lifters out right here um I'm going to take the front off the engine now. Never had this much trouble with a crank bolt before. Okay, well I struggled and struggled to get this bolt off. Let me tell you, it comes off with a lot of difficulty. Couldn't get it with the impact. That's got quite a bit of power. Heated it with the uh, just a propane torch because I'm out of acetylene right now. Just could not get it to go. Tried putting a pry bar in here, but I couldn't hold it. Finally figured out, I put a big screwdriver just big enough to fit through. And I got it sticking quite a ways in there, like maybe an inch in there on the block. You can see it's turning. There it is. Yeah, there's some kind of sealant right around there, and I don't think that helps things. Now we need to get in here with a puller. Just pulling the harmonic balancer and crank pulley off. I just used the puller that I had from Harbor Freight. It has some quarter inch 28 bolts that seem to thread in. And then it's coming right off. So now we just got to continue um, taking covers and stuff off. Get this off. This looks like it's just to protect the sensor and the reluctor ring. So we'll take this off first. Get our sensors and oil filter adapter and all that off. So our, because of our double roller, we're going to have to take this out to give us the depth back here, which we wanted anyway for higher RPMs. So this balance shaft will be gone. Our oil pump is in the front cover and our um, cover for it is much thinner. Our new cover is milled down and it is thinner to clear the new timing chain. We're going to take the flywheel off so we can get this rear cover off so that we can um, put a plug in 
from up here, tap it and put a plug in the rear oil passage. We also need to take this off. We're gonna go with SFI approved. Not sure how fast we're gonna be. I know it's gonna be a little bit expensive. That flywheel is gonna be right behind my back. You can see where the seat is. The seat is slid way back. The seat's gonna be up a little bit and there'll be a cover, but still, it's pretty close to my back. So she's up on the chain fall now. I pulled the um, flywheel off, flex plate. Now I just have to take this back cover off. The gasket back here was pretty brittle. I broke this off so you could see this is where the balance shaft bushing is right here. And then that hole right there is the is what we're going to have to uh, tap and put a plug in. So I got my 3 8 by 16 tap here. But before I can do that, I need to drive out that um, bearing. So I have an inch and a quarter socket. And I'm just going to give it some taps. I might put it like this. Put a little extension on there and maybe give it some taps and try to push it right out the back here. So once I drove the rear balancer shaft bearing out, then I put my 3 8 by 16 tap in there and I'm working on threading that. Not sure how well you can see it, but I did get some good threads in there. I'm just going to clean them up and then put my plug in. So I just used a 3 8 by 16 plug and I put some red Loctite on it and got it tight in right there and it is not going anywhere. So the way this back cover works is it let oil from these galleys here go up and uh, into here because those galleys are right here. I'm assuming there was a hole in the gasket right here where this was and it let that go into that bearing. Now we can take our retainers off for our camshaft. Okay, I've got everything out now that I plan on taking out of this engine for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a massive cleanup on it. Probably pss, some paint onto it. Um, I will take the oil pan off and put a new oil pan gasket. My Regal has a leaky oil pan gasket, so I know that happens. And while we're down this far, we might as well put a new one in so we don't have that. So I've got a new seal on my rear main seal cover. Put a new seal, cleaned it all up, got a new gasket. You need to make sure you put the side with the orange towards the engine. That will make sure your passage is open going up to your balance balancer shaft. I'm deleting that so it doesn't really matter, but this is the way you put the gasket on. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if I got the seal to the right depth or not. So I went around with some really fine um, sandpaper and got this really clean so that even if it's on a different spot it shouldn't really hurt things so I'm getting this engine together I've got it all cleaned up now painted now I'm gonna throw the new cam in it's from ZZP it's their XPZ grind but it's actually a comp cams cam. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get some assembly lube on everything and put it right in there. Fortunately, my battery is just about dead, so I'm just gonna have to tell you and I'll show you when I get it in place and hopefully this thing will get charged up a little bit by then. So I got my assembly lube all on the cam and got it put in place. Next, I'm gonna put my retainer on for it. And then there's two screws here. I just put a little bit of blue Loctite on them. I'm going to go ahead and put these on now. See if I can do that with one hand. Uh, not easily. There we go. Now 
Then we'll just get these tightened up and we're gonna work on our um, timing set. Okay, this uh, gear fits on really tight on the crankshaft. I just had a piece of pipe here that fit right over and still put pressure here. I didn't wanna get out on the gears. I wanted to try to keep it close to the hub. So it's a little big, but it fits close enough. So I just wanted to drive it on and also with my other hand, hold this and get it started. This is a real tight fit. The chain is real tight. This is actually one of the most aggressive supercharged cams you can get. So I'm just gonna dial it in at zero. So there's the zero mark. I put it on there and then there's a zero here. I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard to see. And then it lines up with my tooth there and we're good to go. So I got my oil pump put together and in. And I also put a bunch of oil in there. You can see I spilled it. This is the shave down cover for it. Probably only goes one way on here. Like so. Just gotta get our bolt. And of course I'm gonna put some blue Loctite in these before we put this together. So we got the cover all tightened up and now we're gonna put it on. We have the extra thick gasket that comes in the kit because that is needed with the thicker gear set. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the cover started. I also put the chain tensioner on, which you barely even need right now, if, if at all. Now we just have to make sure that our gasket stays aligned and we get this thing on the dowels and then we can put a couple of bolts in. Got the front cover buttoned up, six bolts here, and then the rest are gonna be on the water pump. And then there are some through the pan, but we're gonna take the pan off and clean it out inside, clean it off outside, and I got a new gasket for that. But now I got this uh, pump kit. It says volume, but I, it says it's an oil volume kit, but I think it's actually pressure because what it's doing is it's got a different spring for the pressure to give you a little more pump pressure. It has a different spring in it with a washer and the plunger, and then there's also a new gasket. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, get that on. So I've been struggling with the stupid battery on this GoPro. Missed a little bit while I was charging it. Don't have time to fool around. Really wanna get this together. So I put the oil filter or extension housing cover, or whatever you wanna call it on. So I put the new spring in, the little washer, and then the plunger, the new gasket, pushed it in and put these bolts on. Also put the um, camshaft sensor in, uh, the crank sensor is on, and I put this cover, and I put, I think this is a knock sensor over here, put it in and the cover on. Uh, still, I can't find the one for the other side. Pretty sure there's one that goes on the other side as well. So I'll just show you one of these. Um, I got these lifters from ZZ Performance. I'm just gonna put some assembly lube on the wheel here, roll it around, get a little on the outside. Ugh. This stuff is a mess, of course, but that's what you want. It sticks to everything, but that's good because it'll stick to your engine parts. So I went ahead and put all the lifters in. I don't know you can see them. You can probably see them down in there. And then I put this on that holds them in place and keeps them from spinning. Keeps the wheel pointed the right direction with the camshaft. And it also is a little bit of a guide for the push rods. So I had to clean these up. These things were just full of dirt. Got them somewhat clean. I mean, there's still some oil in them, but that'll be fine. They'll be all oily again soon anyway. So I think I'm just gonna call it for here. Um, next thing I have to do, um, I have not ordered my heads yet. I've been trying to figure out which heads to get. I think I'm gonna go with the Millsy Motorsports um, Stage 3s. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those coming. I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, multi-layer gasket and head studs. And then I've already got a Gen 5 supercharger for this. 
Uh, I just got to pick it up. A friend of mine has it for me right now. I already bought it. Uh, supposedly had some work done to it. We'll see. The plan is to have that. I guess I'm going to go with an intercooler now. We'll see. I'm probably going to do some kind of porting on the intake. I want to get this car. I'm hoping for 10s. I'm hoping to be able to um, run 10s consistently and maybe dabble in the single digits. Never gone single digits, so I'm really hoping for that. Thanks for watching. I'll be back um, with more on this. I'm also going to have some footage of quads. We're going on a um, winter hair scramble ride. Hopefully I'll get some good footage from that. Um, thanks for watching.